All right, guys, my last video is literally filled with is it patched? Patch. It's definitely patched. Lamps, is it patched? I'm freaking out and it gold. These kind of comments, like, holy crap. The answer is no, it has not been patched, but it doesn't work the same way. We are going to be making a couple of changes. So that's why I'm making this video. So the setup, the setup will be pretty much the same, but this time we are going to change the MTU settings to 600, not 800, because I tried with 800 MTU setting, but it I couldn't get any map. So as you can see, I'm in a solo lobby. So that's that is the first main important step to get your ass into a solo lobby. So why do we need a solo lobby? One might ask. It's because the game works best when we are in a solo lobby, especially when it comes to random encounters, which is what will be taking advantage of so again the first change is change your mtu setting to 600 you can do this on ps4 and ps5 easily by going to your settings all right guys so as you can see i'm on ps5 and as you can see it's 2 9 a.m <laughs> i have to stay awake for you guys because you guys are in the past i'm in the future so on ps4 and ps5 just go to your settings and then go to network and then select setup internet connection so by default, your MTU settings will be set to 1500. So you'll want to change it to 600. So just change your MTU settings to manual and then just enter 600. So when you change it to 600 and when you relaunch the game, you'll be placed in a solo lobby. Now for Xbox and PC, I know it's a little bit difficult because you can't change it this way. So the best way to change it for you guys would be to go to your router's IP address. Just go to your router's IP address and change your MTU setting that way. The router's IP address will be written on the router itself, most of the routers. And also, as you can see, just showing you that this is like after the update. As you can see, there's the blood money icon on one of the stranger missions. And next step is to get your camp over here, close to Emerald Ranch. So your camp has to be in a certain spot where it's close to all the five markers that you can see. But at the same time, there is a little bit of distance. If it's literally next to the marker, it'll cancel out the treasure map spawn. So make sure there is a little bit of distance from all the five markers. All right, so let's hunt some treasure maps. All right, so another important thing that I forgot to mention is that if you are full up on treasure maps or close to it, like the max you can carry is 30 at once on your satchel. That's how much you can hold. So if you have like say 25 or 26 treasure maps on your satchel, make sure to open up some of those treasure maps and then open up, like collect the treasure chest and then attempt the glitch. Because that definitely made a difference for me when I was testing the glitch after the update. So that'll improve the spawn rate of the treasure maps. The more space you have, the more treasure maps you'll get. So if you're like, if you have searched around like five or six times on all of the five spots and if you didn't get any treasure map, that could be the main reason. It also could be that you did a, you did a different random encounter prior to attempting the glitch. In, in that case, you know what's next. <laughs> You'll have to wait three days, real lifetime. Watch my videos for three days and time will fly by. You can see two spots already checked, no treasure maps. So three of these spots are trees locations, treasure maps stuck on trees locations, and two of them are NPC encounters. If you find an NPC encounter, it'll be like, it'll come up as a white dot on your map. So just tackle the NPC with your lasso, and that's how you can get the treasure map. All right, so third location, no map on the tree. And fourth location, there's no map either. So there's only one spot remaining. Let's see if this has been patched. Forbidden word. Seriously guys, remove the word patch from your vocabulary. It's, it doesn't exist in my vocabulary, so. All right, so there's only one spot remaining heading there now. So the last spot is a big ass tree right here. And drum roll boom what is that looks like a treasure map not patched <laughs> there you go 
million dollar question has been answered. So again, if you find like a different random encounter, which is not a treasure hunter encounter, ignore it. If you engage in them, like you'll have to wait three days. Also ignore legendary animals, moonshine roadblocks, and free roam bounties. And again, I was showing you the map because I wanted to show the blood money icon. So from that, you can tell this is footage after the update. And as you can see, I mean, as you saw right there, I had 14 capitali <laughs> as well. So this is the most important part of the glitch. Take the treasure map. I, I was just standing there because I was getting ready to disconnect. So my left, the finger on my left hand was on my triangle button and my right hand was on my router. So. so as soon as you see the name of the treasure map on the right side of your screen, disconnect from the internet. There you go. Disconnect or close that, whatever you want. Now the servers are kind of buggy right now so after you reconnect you might like get stuck in an infinite loading screen so if that's the case just close the game again and restart and it should be fine all right so after you've either reconnected or relaunched the game just load back into your camp now again if you get stuck in an infinite loading screen if you don't see the percentage like the loading percentage then restart the game again and it should be fine it won't mess with the glitch so don't worry all right, so let me show you another treasure map just to show you that there is no cooldown after you get one treasure map. So what happens when you like disconnect is that Rockstar Clouds will fail to make his save. But at the same time, you'll have the treasure map on your satchel. But if you take too long to disconnect, Rockstar will make a save and it will detect as if you completed a random encounter. And if that happens, 3 day cooldown, 3 days real life cooldown. And holy crap, forgot to mention, 14,000 subs, so close. <laughs> you guys are insane. Wherever you guys are, seriously. Much love. Whether you're from US, UK, German, Mongolian, or Somalian, wherever you guys are. Much love. Thanks for supporting the channel. All right, so as you can see, I have 23 treasure maps on my satchel. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Make sure to leave some space free for the new treasure maps. And I see something. There we go, another treasure map. Works the same way apart from a couple of changes. And it should work better like after a couple of days when the servers are like better but it works it works better today than yesterday so anyways guys let me know in the comments if you have any doubts i will see you in the next one thank you again for so much <laughs> thank you again for your support peace out bye bye